Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So today's video is a uh, first impressions on the Ecoline liquid watercolors. But before we get into the video, I wanted to address a bit what's going on in the world right now. I'm sure all of you know. Uh, I wanted to say how uh, this affects my Patreon, if it does in any way, and uh, what I've been doing since I've been working from home. So as you guys know, I work as a wallpaper designer, I have a full-time job and I've been working from home for a week and a half almost now. I'm trying to take all the precautions necessary and uh, respect what the authorities are saying and I hope you are doing the same. As far as my Patreon goes, you know I send out monthly rewards to patrons. Uh, this will not change as long as it is possible for me to go to the post office. For now there are restrictions in my country. Uh, that you cannot get out of the house unless you have a really good reason during the daytime. So if it's grocery shopping um, or going to work and stuff like that, I hope I can go to the post office though. If that changes, I will let you guys know. Besides that, I really hope everybody is safe and everybody tries to keep calm during this hard period. <laughs> so yeah, that's my take on this situation. I will be uploading regularly on YouTube because it's something I can do from home and I think we all need a distraction right now. So let's get into the video. So basically I bought a set of Ecoline liquid watercolors. Unfortunately I bought the wrong set. I'm, I'm not sure what I did because I bought the additional colors but I did want to buy the basic colors. So the basic colors are your basic magenta, cyan, colors but the set has five colors which are a uh, yellow a bright red a deep purple a soft gray and a sepia the colors don't have names to them which is weird they are just numbered and yeah i wanted to review them as you saw the colors come in a plastic casing which i think is great because the bottles are made of glass and it's good for shipping so i bought the set from craftelier which is shop based in Spain I think and the price was 13 euros and 73 cents if you do want to purchase a 10 color set the 10 color set is 25 euros so I think the price is overall pretty good uh, they come in this round bottles with a droplet which is great for mixing and putting the colors in your palette it makes everything much easier I will talk a bit about Ecoline uh, I did some research on the brand so basically, Ecoline liquid watercolors are highly intense saturated dye-based liquid watercolor that dries within minutes. Uh, they are dilutable with water and can be rewetted. They also claim to be astonishingly bright and you can easily control the color intensity by thinning it with water. They are transparent and to give the best results, you can use them on white or very light color paper. They have a, a very good adhesion with any paper such as drawing paper, cardboard and watercolor and are versatile enough for traditional brushes sprayed through airbrush or used with drawing and technical pens. So as I said, the colors come in jars with a droplet built into the cap to measure the drops of color on your mixing palette. So the five colors I bought are pretty much uh, very different to my usual color palette but I wanted to do a house illustration since we are all stuck at home and I initially swatched them so you can get a better idea of the colors and I did some tests with wet mixing I tried to do some gradients and overall from just the swatches my first impressions were that the colors are really bright and saturated so that claim is very true they are transparent as they claim to be and they have a very smooth application so there are no streaks at all however i find it weird that they are called uh, liquid watercolors i would call them uh, inks or uh, something like water-based inks because if you do try to go over a color with another color then the color underneath will get uh, destroyed this doesn't happen with inks ink once it's dry it's uh, batch proof but with these you can actually re-wet them as they say and even on paper they can get re-wet and tend to bleed. 
I did have a problem with this while uh, painting the windows of the house, but overall I had a very great experience using them. I do really enjoy the fact that they are extremely saturated and the way they go on the paper is really nice. I haven't found inks that or watercolors that go on so smoothly and you can get like a very I don't know how to call it not opaque but you can see no streaks it's very compacted I don't know how to explain it so yeah overall I think these are really fun I wish I would have bought other colors if I can I will add a green and a blue to my collection because I think that is missing perhaps even a black and I've been thinking if I do Inktober this year, uh, I will be using these to do it. Yeah, these are my first impressions on it. I hope you enjoyed this illustration. Please be mindful uh, <laughs> when you buy a set, because um, if you want the basics, check to make sure you are getting the basics. Um, however, this was a fun palette. Uh, to mix up. You know that I really love greens and golds and stuff like that So using purples and reds is really not my thing, but I think it took me out of my comfort zone and uh, The illustration turned out a bit different than what I'm used to. However, I still like it I did edit it in procreate So if you stick till the end of the video, you will see the final illustration with all the digital art added to it Overall, I really enjoyed using them. Uh, I just wished I had bought other colors and the only problem that I found was layering the colors, so I wouldn't suggest you do that very much because they tend to bleed. So if the underneath layer gets wet, it will tend to bleed, especially if it's a darker color. So yeah, these are my first impressions. Uh, let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on these liquid watercolors. Um, if you use them, what colors would you recommend me to get in the future? And what are your thoughts on this illustration? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!